G'day guys, my name's Dave Tran and welcome to another Guitar Zero to Hero song tutorial. And in this video, I'm going to teach you how to play Dive by Ed Sheeran. Now in this video, I'm going to teach you how to play the rhythm guitar, but I'm also going to teach you how to play the solo in the bridge as well. So for the basics, you'll need your guitar in standard tuning and you'll need a caper on the fourth fret of your guitar. Now if you want to master your chords back to front, then be sure to head over to guitarzerotohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. Alright, so let's start with the verse. And the verse is really nice and easy. We just have five chords. We start with our C, we have another C, then we go to A minor 7. So to play that, we simply just lift our ring finger, and that's A minor 7, then we have F, and then G. Now for the verse, we're going to have a strumming pattern that goes like this. Down up, down, up, down. And then there's going to be quite a bit of a pause after that last down strum. So in succession, it will sound like this. Down, up, down, up, down. Down, up, down, up, down. Now each set of brackets up here in the annotations will represent one strumming pattern. So you're going to play that C for two strumming patterns. Then you're going to play the A minor 7 for one strumming pattern. And then for the F to the G, that's going to be within one strumming pattern. So the point at which you go from the F to the G is going to be on that very last down strum. So that last down strum will just simply be the G, which will sound like this. Down, up, down, up, down. Now one really important thing for the strumming pattern is that after that last down strum, you just mute all the strings with the palm of your hand so that nothing rings out. And that's gonna give it that feel that's in the actual recording. So altogether, the verse will sound like this. Down, up, down, up, down. 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 And that's it for the verse. You just keep repeating that over and over. Now, one little lick that you can add to this chord progression is in between the C and the A minor. So after you've played the second C, like that. Then we can play this little lick which goes like this. So you're going to hammer on to the second fret of the fourth string with your middle finger and then you're going to pluck the open third string. So it'll sound like this. And that's located in between the C chord and the A minor 7 chord. So with that lick the verse will sound like this. Remember that after that last down strum, you want to mute all the strings so that nothing rings out. Now we get to our pre-chorus and we have two lines of chords here. Our first line of chords is F, then A minor, then E minor, and back to an F chord. Then our second line of chords is F, A minor, and then we go to a G chord. Our strumming pattern is going to differ here. Our strumming pattern is just going to go down, down, up, down, up, and in succession. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. Now you're going to play that strumming pattern twice for each chord with the exception of the G chord. Now that G chord at the end is just going to have seven down strums and will build up to the chorus. So the G at the end will sound like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And altogether the pre-chorus will sound like this. Down, down, up, down. You want to mute the strings after that last down strum on that G as well. Now we get to our chorus, and our chorus has two lines of chords. Our first line of chords is going to be exactly the same as our verse. So we have C, C again, 
and you can throw that lick in between the C and the next A minor 7 and then we have F and G. Now the strumming pattern is going to be exactly the same as well with the exception of that F to the G. Now the F to the G is going to have a different strumming pattern. It's going to be more smooth. It won't have that sharp stop. The strumming pattern for the F to the G will sound like this. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And the point at which you change to that G chord is going to be that third down strum. So it'll sound like this. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. You're going to play that first line twice. And then for our second line of chords, we have A minor, G, G slash B. Now this is the same as the G chord, except now your bass note is the fifth string here. And you've got to mute that sixth string. G slash B, and then we end on a C chord. Our strumming pattern is going to be similar to the F to the G, which is going to be down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And there's going to be two chords per strumming pattern. And the point at which you change is that third down strum again. So the last line of chord sounds like this. Down, up, 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 down. Up, down. And in total, the chorus will sound like this. That's everything you need to learn for the rhythm guitar. Alright, so now I'm going to teach you how to play the solo in this song, which is really fun to play. It is more on the hard side, so it might challenge more of the beginners out there. So to start, we'll play the 12th fret of the 2nd string, and we'll slide up to the 14th fret, like that. And then we'll go to the 12th fret of our 1st string, and then to the 14th fret, but we're going to bend this up to the pitch of our 16th fret. And we're going to do that twice and then bend and then after you've released it back down you're going to pull off from the 14th to the 12th fret and then back to the 14th fret of the second string like that so that whole section will sound like this slide 12 bend bend release pull off and then back to the 14th fret then we're going to hit the 14th fret again and just slide it down and so far Then for our next lick, we're going to start by hammering on to the 14th fret from the 12th fret of the 2nd string. Then we're going to go back to the 12th fret. Then with our middle finger, hit the 13th fret of the 3rd string. Hit it and then slide down to the 11th. And then we go to the 9th fret with our index finger on that 3rd string. Down to the 11th fret of the 4th string with our ring. Down to the 9th fret of the 4th. And then we're going to jump down to the 3rd string, ninth fret, and then hammer on to the 11th, like that. So, hammer on, 12, slide, 9, 11, 9, and then hammer on. And then one smooth motion. Then to start our second line off, we slide from the ninth fret to the 11th fret of the 4th string, and then we go to the ninth fret of the 3rd string, and we're going to pluck this four times. The first two times are going to be fast though. Like that. And then we'll go back to the ninth fret of the fourth string. And then we're going to hammer on from the ninth fret to the eleventh fret on the third string. Like that, really quickly. So that lick all together. And we're not going to hold on to that eleventh fret. It just ends like that. Then for our next section, we're going to slide from the 11th fret with our middle finger here to the 13th fret on the 3rd string. Then our index finger will go on the 12th fret. Play that twice. Back to the 13th fret. And then we're going to hammer on from the 12th to the 14th on the 2nd string. 12th fret of the 1st string. And then we're going to hit the 14th fret and bend it up. And then back to the 12th fret of the 1st string and then end on the 14th fret of the 2nd string. So that section...
and the second line in total. Then for our final line, we have one fairly long chunk all together. We're going to start with the 12th fret of the first and second strings. You're just going to bar that with your index finger. With your free ring finger, you're going to hammer on to the 14th fret of the second string when you pluck the first and second strings together like that. So you pluck it and hammer on at the same time and then lift it, let it go, pluck it again like that. Then we're going to slide down from the 13th to the 11th fret with our middle finger on the third string, down to the ninth fret, back to the 11th fret and hold that. Then you go back down to the ninth fret, 11th fret of the fourth string, and then you're going to bar the ninth fret of the third and fourth strings, and you're going to pluck them both together. And we're going to do the same thing we did on the 12th fret, where your ring finger hammers on, it's going to hammer on to the 11th fret of the fourth string. Then let it go, pluck those two strings again. Then you're going to pluck the 11th fret of the fifth string, slide it down two frets, hit it one more time, and then end on that seventh fret of the fifth string. And that whole line sounds like this. And one more time. And the full solo all together. play the solo at full speed in the playthrough later in this video so check that out as well and that's it for the solo it's not super hard but it's not going to be easy for the beginners out there but if you keep at it I know you can get it so now I'm going to be playing the song in its entirety and I'm going to have a vocal track on top for some context so feel free to play this back as many times as you'd like to practice play along to and see how you go Maybe I came on too strong Maybe I waited too long Maybe I played my cards wrong Oh, just a bit Maybe I apologize for it I could fall or I could fly
Thanks guys, hope you've enjoyed this tutorial for Dive by Ed Sheeran. Make sure you head over to guitarzerotohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. If you've enjoyed this, then it'd mean the world if you could hit that like button, share the video, hit that subscribe button, and click the little notification bell so that you don't miss out on any updates. Leave your thoughts, comments, questions, and requests below. I read every single one of them, and I'll see you guys next time on Guitar Zero to Hero. Cheers.